what's up guys and welcome to today's video and today we're talking about nutrition and specifically we're talking about how do you balance uh, physical and mental performance with regards to your nutrition because what I've found is that they're on two ends of the different spectrum so some diets that are great for like physical performance uh, are not so good for mental performance and diets that are good for mental performance are not necessarily great for physical performance so if you're someone like me who works a lot and needs to be mentally sharp but you also want to have a strong physique and you want to perform well in the gym what do you do uh, well that's what we're talking about in this video so to start off with I've tried pretty much every single diet that kind of makes sense out there I've tried uh, paleo standard British diet obviously um, I'm, I can't tolerate gluten or dairy so I don't rarely eat gluten or dairy to be honest but uh, I've tried a vegan diet I've tried keto carnivore I've tried a lot of different diets I mean I haven't tried some of them which are just absolutely ridiculous like fruitarian <laughs> can you believe there's people out there that just eat fruit like that's it <laughs> Um, so apart from like the really really crazy diets I've tried some pretty extreme diets like vegan and carnivore are pretty extreme to go from one to the other uh, is pretty extreme but um, what I found is the best diets for mental performance was probably carnivore uh, keto or carnivore I would definitely say and the reason is first of all uh, you know when you're keto carnivore you're in a low carbohydrate state and when you're in ketosis which is when you don't eat carbs your body goes into uh, using fat for fuel which is called ketosis when you're in that state um, you'll typically find that your brain is much sharper you have clarity of thinking more stable energy levels throughout the whole day like you say if you eat lunch you won't feel that afternoon crash that typically you would do if you were to eat a big carbohydrate meal for lunch and overall it seems the best for sort of mental performance at least for me I would say probably carnivore was the best and another reason for that is likely to do with inflammation what I found is um, that the lower the inflammation is in my body the better my brain functions uh, so if you're eating like a standard American diet or you're eating a lot of fast food and a lot of seed oils and a lot of foods that are bad for, for you just changing from that diet to i don't know a diet which is predominantly whole foods regardless of whether it's keto carnivore vegan whatever you're probably going to see improvements but assuming you're not eating those bad foods and your diet's already on point how do you balance uh, physical and mental performance because one of the the best thing about carnivore for me was sort of my stable energy levels uh, just my brain functioned well all day I could work pretty much all day from the moment I woke up to the moment I went to sleep but obviously had a couple of breaks for the gym and stuff like that and um, I found I needed less sleep as well when I was doing carnivore but that's likely to do with uh, not having carbohydrates I find when I have carbs uh, it helps me sleep so how do I how do I balance all this because when I tried like a bodybuilding diet, like a, a more high carb, lower fat diet, that was the best for physical performance. That was the best for my look because when you eat carbs, your muscles look more full because of intracellular water retention. Uh, and just just the kind of the energy in the gym, just the ability to push myself uh, much higher. I had the ability to you know train much harder when I was in uh, when I was eating a high carb diet so what I do right now is I wake up around six I'll have a coffee around seven and I'll either, either have a yeah usually sometimes I have a second coffee and then go to the gym fasted around 8 9 a.m. so I wake up I have a coffee I do some work just without having any food in my system I find that's a great way to to get stuff done is to not eat in the morning go to the gym, uh, come back, um, and then first meal is usually around 11 a.m. and I'll have like, what I like to do is front load my fats because I'm trying to balance both. If, it, if I was all about 
fit, uh, physical fitness and performance in the gym, I would structure my carbohydrates around my workout. So I'd probably have, I don't know, 75, 80% of my carbs pre and post workout. But because uh, I'm trying to balance both like my mental performance and also uh, physical performance, I like to front load my day with the fats and push the carbs to the end of the day. So first meal this morning was five eggs and some bone broth. Second meal I'll probably have around two and that's when I'll bring the fats down a bit and start to add in some carbs. And then my third meal uh, towards the end of the day will be much higher carb and lower fat. And the reason I do that is so that I can remain sharp throughout the day. But also, you know, with me training in the morning, if I'm having carbs the night before, they're still in my system, they still help me train hard. Uh, and also just having carbs helps me sleep as well. So it's kind of this, uh, it's kind of beneficial for multiple reasons, you know, like throughout the day, I can have stable energy levels, I can concentrate pretty well. Uh, and towards the end of the day, I can have the carbs. I find it relaxes me and I sleep better at night. And that's kind of my approach to balancing both just physical and mental performance. Um, if you haven't tried this out, I definitely would recommend trying this out. Um, assuming you're already eating a pretty good diet, just experiment with front loading your day with the fats and pushing your carbs to the end of the day. Uh, another thing that I could do is obviously is train in the afternoon and then that's when I'm eating my carbs anyway. Personally, I don't like to do that. I just prefer training in the moment, uh, in the <laughs> in the morning. Uh, so that's what I do. But guys, uh, give this a go, you know, push your, especially if you're someone who, you know, you want to uh, perform well at your work or just have good sharp mental performance try pushing your carbs towards the end of the day and preload the beginning of the day with your fats because i found fats also are more satiating and they keep you fuller for longer so i can eat a high fat meal and i won't need to eat again for quite a few hours and that's just great for productivity because every time you got to take a break for food i just find the more i eat uh, the less well my brain functions so Give that a go, hope it helps and talk to you in the next one.